And the arts are something that really feed the soul. And there's nobody who can live without them in one way or another. My father started doing photography in the early 40s. And I would go down and watch in his darkroom. It was my way of being very close to him. And then, of course, when I was a young teenager, I brought my boyfriends over to see it. And that was a great way for me to be very social. Yeah. I was looking for a job, August 1974. I went up and I had an interview at this new photography museum to be starting the bookshop. And Cornell Kappa came to me, what are you going to do for me? And I figured, what is he going to do for me? And so that's how it started. ICP was so new. There were about five of us. And I had no idea how to do this or what to do. And no money to do it with. It was almost like I had to sell a book in order to buy a book. So I did write all over the world to find resources. And I would have small shows in the bookstore. And before you knew it, I was doing a lot more than the bookshop. I was doing the membership program because I was the one that was supposedly going to bring people into the museum. We opened with Cartier-Bresson. We never thought anybody even knew who Cartier-Bresson was. And the opening night, it was on November 15, 1974. There were lines around the corner. Very, very exciting. And before you knew it, any young person who came into New York who had a camera would come by to see Cornell and he would either get them to work or give them a bed upstairs up in the attic. They had babies, they had dogs, they had cats, drugs, whatever there was. And when we would come into the museum in the morning, if they had a party the night before, we would stand on the street and yell, open the doors. This is the way it was. Cornell had no children. This institution was his child and he treated it as such. He nurtured it. And we were very proud to be working with him. But he wasn't somebody who would ever say, good job. You had to be able to feel it from him. Cornell loved me, he did. He just didn't know how to, what to do with me. <laughs> he would say, women, women, what am I gonna do with you, women? Yeah, today he would have been brought up on charges, right? <laughs> ICP is a great achievement. It really has become the major photography institution in the world. And I felt I had so much input in creating this institution that what fun it would be to be on the board. So I've been there since 1987. I was part of that original family. And now we're coming into our 40th birthday. ICP was almost like a parent to me. 
in the understanding and the growth that I have found in myself. So this, this one is a really, really big one for me. Thank you.